because what happens is it's a, a uphill battle the rest of the way to try to score against this stingy Purdue defense. Six to shoot for Eric Hunter, who drains the three. Hard did something that was very subtle but very effective. He held the dribble long enough to get a two or a clean look. Proctor spinning into the lane and gets it in off the glass. Your endeavors. Fabulous commissioner and has turned into a really good friend. We will certainly miss him in this league. Here's Carr draining the three. Minnesota needed that. Minnesota's won six of the uh, five of the last six halves that they played against each other. The first half of the Boilermakers, so that has to be something pleasing. Coach Patino. Here's Matt Harms. And Trey Williams going to work again. Stefanovic got off to the great start. As Hunter hits another. Eric Hunter into double figures now with 11. And Purdue comes out of there with it. Proctor. Not there. Great offensive rebound. Williams back up and in. Less than six minutes to go. Purdue 13 straight conference home wins and Harms trying to keep that streak going. That can do a step back three like that and nine of them are in the NBA. <laughs> and Harms answers on the other end with a jam. Hunter the reverse oh, blocked ball. by Oturu. Stefanovic for the tie. Yes! Dave, you know what? You want to get the ball out of the best player's hands. Trevian Williams comes up. Great block by Oturu, but look at this play. Trevian Williams has the presence of mind to look for Stefanovic. Cross-court pass after a mad scramble. That's a heck of a high IQ play by Williams. And even a better shot by Stefanovic. So Sasha Stefanovic, who had been quiet for much of this second half, it's a huge three. And now even at 62, Minnesota will have a chance in the final possession here if they so choose. What do you do if you're Richard Petito? Well, I mean, the recipe had been to give the ball to Marcus Carr and let him create, but now that Purdue has thrown this wrinkle, it's in the back of his mind, will they come double-team me again? So there may be a slight hesitation. But I do try to go right back to Carr. They're checking the clock, game clock. That looked like maybe 15.5, 15.6. Well, they put 15.5 on the clock. Marcus Carr has been phenomenal. 27 points. You have to believe he will be the focal point. Remember, O'Toole, of course, the other big gun in this game. For Minnesota, it is really loud in this building as Carr brings it into the front court. Carr fading away, doesn't go. Loose ball. Oturu travel. It's that three ball here to put the Gophers back up by two. Now the lob to Harms. That's easy. Matt Harms did a great job of getting Oturu up the lane. And he rolls the second one home. Knocked away. Carr puts it up. No good. Back up. No. And we are going to a second overtime. Oturu was a little bit disappointed in himself. But like you said, Dave, that's great recovery. Help side from the boiler. Now Harms right over a two. -room. Less than a buck and a half in the second overtime. Stefanovic got it. Well, the first possession before Carr fouled out, I thought they could have gotten to the rim to extend the game, but trying for the three. A two -room. cuts the lead in half. Williams. Not there, and Purdue gets the win.
Matt Painter's team in double overtime.